So we're just going to start that when conservative folks say elites, they mean Jew. They mean Jews. So I don't know if this lady meant Jew, but the person she heard that language from definitely meant Jew. But that aside, elites, when I say elites, I mean rich people, uh, do not benefit off of the climate change narrative. It, it's real, and, you, and your people like you are old, and you're not going to have to deal with it, the consequences. I will, because despite looking like having a face as old as time, I am, in fact, 26 years old. As far as liberals leaving the biggest messes after protests, I, you know, put forth Trump rally in New Jersey, Trump rally in Florida, January 6th, but, you know, dumbass things like that aside, let's explain why uh, waste is bad here. Obviously, we don't want the, 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 the baby penguins to be choking on plastic. And unfortunately, uh, people littering isn't really a huge contributor to climate change. You know what is? International shipping. To be able to get the lithium from uh, Chile to go to Taiwan to have uh, lithium ion batteries made, which then get shipped to the raw, the raw materials come from Chile to go to Thailand. Uh, they get made into a battery, which gets sent to uh, Thailand, and which turns it into an actual phone, which then sends it to Shenzhen to have all of the parts put together and, and tuned and the software is put in there and then they ship the, the, they bulk all the phones together and they send them to LA and then LA, then, the, then LA warehouse will ship them out to, to buyers all across the country from bumblefuck states like your own where you, you being a property owner, you know, can sit in your happy little homestead and I don't know, uh, yell at people yell at or 20 year olds from a place of privilege i don't know but all but it's not just the package that the little box that you got from the iphone store that it's con that you're throwing in the garbage now it's also the packaging that it was shipped to the iphone store in it the the the, the it had to be packaged and sent multiple times to the warehouses it had to be the the all the way back to the lithium that was taken out of the ground. And that's not even considering the amount of emissions that go in the process of lithium mining, which is disastrous for the environment in its own rights and quite literally makes our world go round. I want to, I want to end this by saying that the oil industry is the eighth largest industry in the world. It makes approximately anywhere between five, 4.6 to $5 trillion a year. A year. There's $30 trillion circulating in the world at present, like in terms of value of money. The oil industry is $5 trillion, 4.6 if we're being conservative. Oil goes into all of that plastic like I was talking about. And our country quite literally invades other nations for it. I don't know who on Fox or Breitbart or Newsmax or whatever dipshit right-wing YouTuber told you that the elites make money off of this narrative. Everybody who controls our government, who controls our economy are invested in making, uh, in utilize, they've recognized and have talked about ad nauseum in industry papers, because if you read industry papers, they brag about this stuff, ad nauseum that this is eventually, eventually we're going to have to go green, and they're trying to get as much as they can out of the current infrastructure they have before we either all die or they are forced to go green. You want to know how I know this is that this is not some Jew narrative as as you know the mask off among you might say. 
military's converting the Bradley to electric. The military is converting military their vehicles, their fleet, slowly over time, to electric. The Bradley, the the the, the armored vehicle that we sent to Ukraine that has had that has had the Russians pissing themselves and you know and pushing back against the great Russian bear for like the last three years. Yeah, that they're making that electric. They're working on electric tanks. Lastly, I touched on this earlier. Um, we have to deal with the consequences of this stuff. No amount of picking ourselves up by our bootstraps is going to, you know, allow us to avoid, you know, the consequences of our planet trying to kill us. Because the Earth is going to be fine. We ain't. We're, we're, we're not. We're, we're fucked. If, if, if this continues. And um, broadly speaking, at the end of the day, um, it's your generation. You know, it's the 50 plus crowd that we have to blame for this. And, and, and I lay that blame at your feet. And uh, your children are going to have a uh, worse life because not of just the environment, but the economy you left us because of, you know, 40 years of you know, Reagan's policies extrapolated into, you know, further and further into right-wing, you know, nonsense, social policies and stuff. So, um, I don't know if you have children. You know, it's probably a good idea you don't reproduce. But, you know, that's it. Stop being, stop, you know, dog-whistling anti-Semitism. Get off the internet read a book that isn't written by a right-wing goon every once in a while and I think you'll be fine. Toodaloo. Quack. Quack. Hoggers.